His strength is probably a confidence in his own divine right, I think, really. It's also his weakness because he constantly questions whether he deserves to be in the position that he's in. Anyone who is in a privileged position, I would imagine, would be sort of psychopathic if they didn't sort of think, why me, why am I here, why am I in this position? Well, I can't imagine that the Prime Minister and the President don't often think the office is bigger than them. And Louis certainly is overwhelmed by the office. But at the same time, I think that there has been a religious and educational sort of indoctrination since the day he was born that's told him that, that he's there for a reason. And, and he believes that sort of unquestioningly. He believes he sort of should be there, he just doesn't believe quite in himself, I think. But the thing I love most about this series is Louis. I think he is a treat to be allowed to play, really. I look forward to getting the scripts um, and to seeing what he's up to and what's going to befall him. I find him very charming on the page and I enjoy seeing what he's going to get up to today type of thing, you know, definitely. Since the Cardinal left, he feels much like the actor himself, bereft. I miss him enormously, uh, as does Louis missing um, the Cardinal. But there's no time on this show to sort of worry about grieving someone for too long because there's a brand new villain in the form of Mark Warren who's fantastic, who has obviously come in and played uh, Rochefort with uh, incredible subtlety and menace and from the beginning has sort of wrapped the king around his finger. So immediately there's so much sort of intrigue and power play with the Spanish and with all the individual occurrences that happen episode to episode that Louis' time to, to grieve has been sort of suppressed really, if anything. So yes, missing the Cardinal enormously, but having to get on with the day-to-day -day decisions, which is also what the actors do. The relationship between the King and the Queen is not going too well. I mean, we're still friends, I think, I like to think. The relationship side of things is going from bad to worse. I mean, I've started an affair with my lady, which hasn't gone down too well, let's just put it that way. There has been some suggestions that the Queen's playing away, I don't believe them. I think it's really sad uh, what's happened with me and Treville this se series, because if ever I've needed sort of sound uh, advice, um, it's now. I understand for his personal and professional reasons he didn't want to be my counsellor, but I think he did genuinely let me down a little bit with that because he really should know that there is no one around to sort of support me and that I need support. So understandably I'm hurt, Louis's hurt, and again, Treville's a father figure, um, and it's a betrayal. I can't imagine, though, that we're going to get to the end of the series without him sort of proving his worth, surely, because he's clearly a hero. The reason why I trust Rochefort so quickly is because he sort of demands and commands to be respected and listened to. When you meet people who have a certain stature and a certain intellectual clarity and all those sorts of things, if you don't necessarily possess those qualities and you desire those qualities, those people can be very attractive, very appealing and the type of people that you want to sort of associate with and trust. I'm desperate to sort of put the responsibility of state and pressure onto someone else. I'm desperate for someone to come along and say, I'll make that choice, I'll make that decision, you know, what do I do? you do this side. I think it wouldn't have been long before I found someone. Rulers have always relied on people, they still do, you know. You always have aids. People need people to sort of tell them what to do because you've got too many, you have to delegate, you know, and you have to, you have, to have counsel and advice.